Insects, spiders and other creepy crawlies. A hundred times larger than in real life. For some, a nightmare. But not for the creator of these replicas, Julia Sturz. She lives in Hamburg and started out as a costume designer. But more than 15 years ago, she turned her professional gaze from the stars on the stage to the teeming world below. I've always been interested in insects. I grew up in the country and played outdoors all the time. The tiny creatures fascinated me. I love to sit in front of anthills and observe the goings-on, all the sex and crime. It was gripping. That's how it developed. Julia Sturz has found a niche market, providing museums with replicas of insects, a rarity till she burst onto the scene. She uses real physical critters as models as well as photos, often provided by the Zoological Institute of Hamburg University. Her replicas are true to life, accurate in their details. Currently, she's working on an Asian bush mosquito. Every animal has its distinctive attributes. They absolutely have to be there in any replica. For example, the number of bristles on a certain part of the body. In the case of the Asian bush mosquito, it's the white stripes on the legs and abdomen. I can't make anything up in terms of form or color. I have to stick to the facts. Museums all over Europe are lining up for her replicas. And recently, Sturz received an order from Canada. Eight of her masterpieces are now on show at the Natural History Museum in Bielefeld. It's an opportunity for people to get to know insects in a new way. Everybody knows elephants, and they're great for PR too. But a common housefly? I don't think so. But when you see insects close up and really big and in totally accurate replicas, as if you're looking through a microscope, then you see just how fantastic they are. And we could not survive without insects. Entire ecosystems would soon collapse without them. It takes Sturz between three and six months to make one replica. The Asian bush mosquito is for a museum in Münster. First, she fashions models of the various body parts and makes molds around them, with which to make the components of the final product. I make the molds out of silicon. Then I pour in plastic to make the parts. When they harden, they look like this. That's the mosquito's abdomen. It's the basis for all the further stages. Then comes all the careful, detailed work. Sturz has to find the right bristles or hair. I use a lot of elk hair. Elks have many different kinds of hair, from very fine to very bristly. So they're suitable for many different species. Reindeer is good too. I've also used goat and dog hair. <laughs> Each piece, no matter how tiny, has to be glued in place by hand. Sturz charges between 8 and 25,000 euros for her replicas. She wants people to appreciate that insects are not just pests, but actually important and lovely. Since I started paying so much attention to insects, I've learned how incredibly varied they are and how skilled they are at surviving. They're so clever and they can do so much, it's amazing. Plus, they're totally beautiful. Even mosquitoes. Thanks to Julia Sturz's tireless efforts and artistry, we can now meet her beloved creepy crawlies face to face. <laughs>